hi i just wanted to um make this video to warn people about um a scam that's going around <clears throat> so basically i just received a phone call from uh, bt uh, saying that there was a problem with my broadband so it was um automated recording it was a lady saying uh that there is a problem with your broadband if you want to resolve it press one otherwise press two so i had heard of these scams that have been going on recently <clears throat> and so i pressed number one just to see what would happen and what what they would say and ask for and things so i was put through to somebody called david johnson now i knew that that was not his real name because he had an indian accent and he did not sound like a david johnson so he just started talking about saying that how there's an issue with my broadband and um, he's just in, um, informing me of, about it. And I told him that I don't have any issues with my broadband and that it's um, working absolutely fine. <clears throat> and then he said, yeah, but you might, you might not know about the issue right now. And uh, people are able to access your details and they're going to try to scam you and things like that. And I kept insisting that I don't have a problem. And he said that you, you might think that you don't have a problem, but you're unaware of it. And that's why it's my job to call you to make you aware of what's going on. So, so then I said, what, what did you say your name was again? And he said, David uh, Johnson. And I said, no, but what's your real name? Because David Johnson isn't your real name. And he said, what makes you think that that's not my real name? And I said, because you have an Indian accent, and I know that you're calling from India, and uh, I know that David Johnson isn't your name, so what's your real name? And uh, he said, don't judge me because of my accent. And I said, I will judge you because of your accent. I said, you're from India, I'm from India as well, and I know what's going on. And he said, um, he said you know, I'm just trying to help you. Um, so that you don't get scammed by people, people don't gain access to your uh, computers and everything. And um, <clears throat> I said, you know, I'm from India as well and you're trying to scam somebody from your own country. I said, why don't you look for an honest job where you can make an honest living instead of trying to call people up and scamming them. And he said, ma'am, this is not a scam, I'm trying to help you and everything. And then he said, you know, are you, uh, and then he gave me a name. He said, are you this person? And I said, no, I'm not that person. I said, you should know that that is a man's name. Do I sound like a man to you? And um, he goes, no, uh, I, I said, miss. And I said, even if you said miss, yeah, that is a man's name. You're from India. You know that that is a man's name. I said, Who, I, and even you're giving me your false name. And then he goes, ma'am, look, he, cal he calmed down here and he said, ma'am, I'm just trying to help you. I, I don't want anyone to scam you. I don't want anyone to gain access to your computer. There's a way that you can resolve this. And as he goes, do you have a computer at the moment um, so that I can help you resolve this problem? And then I said, look, I know that you're scamming me. So uh, I think that you should just get a, a proper job and uh, stop scamming people. And then he goes, um, how old are you? And he, he said a swear word and I said, excuse me? And then he said the swear word again and I said, so now I know that you're definitely not from BT because you're swearing at me. And um, if you were professional, you would not be using that kind of language. And then he goes, where, <clears throat> how old are you? And I, he goes, are you uh, under 18 or over 18? So I said, I'm under 18. And then he started um, um, swearing at me like really bad words and everything and then he hung up. So the reason I'm making this video is just to make some of you aware, if you don't know about these kind of things, I just want to make you aware that if anybody calls you um, saying that there's something wrong with your internet or whatever, then, because I just told him that if I do have a problem with my broadband, then I'll call BT myself. So you should just call yourself. If somebody calls you and says that you have this problem, then uh, don't believe them, especially if they have an Indian accent. And 
you know, and it's not only Indians. There's people from other countries that are doing these scams as well. But the ones that I know about is mostly been from India. So if you do um, get a call from someone from India, then don't be naive and just, you know, go along with what they're saying and give them all your personal details and stuff. You can play along with them for a little while if you like, just to waste their time so that they can scam less people. But otherwise, if you're easily led, then I suggest that if you do get any of these calls, you just hang up straight away. Uh, that's all for now. Bye.